This presentation will focus on Pissarro's Louvre in the Morning Sun and on perspective and viewpoint. Please make sure that you have looked at the perspective and viewpoint notes, that's the front cover there, before you try and answer the question. It's unlikely that in an exam question you'd get the two prompt words perspective and viewpoint in the same question, but for the purposes of revision, I think it makes sense to revise them together. So that's why we have them in this question. Now, if the question says the word perspective, 99% of the time, you're going to be expecting it to be linear perspective and focusing on one point or two point perspective. So look at the painting and try and make up your mind if it's one point or two point perspective. So hopefully you spotted that this is one point perspective. I have drawn some lines there to try and make it more obvious. You have to remember that a strong artist will usually be trying to sort of cheat the eye and make the image more natural. So they are not exactly going to a very fine point. Um, I've had to enlarge it there to, to make it really obvious. So again, when you are writing an exam, I always advise you to start off by thinking about focal points in mood and atmosphere and link your prompt words to either of them, okay? In the case of this painting, the one point perspective is creating strong leading lines that lead us to focal points. For your evidence, tell the marker what focal point is following the leading line that you've spotted. So in this case, I see that boats are following the direction of the vanishing point. For your explanation, it's simple to say that the one point perspective is creating an easy composition for our eye to sort of follow. We find the focal points very easily, and this really helps to show off the variety of city life. Now, I think I've explained that okay for the boats, but I've got no problem for you repeating that um, and choosing a different focal point, as long as you sort of rehash your words a little bit. So on the left-hand side, you've got a couple there on a leading line. So again, the the one point perspective is really helping you to spot spot them. And you know, perhaps it, to explain that, it conveys a sense of what it's like um, in a Monday morning and, and two people enjoying each other's company. Pissarro's color palette is tinted. The colors are desaturated. They're duller, but it's still an example of color perspective which means that the warmer colors are advancing and the cooler colors are receding. If you look very carefully, you should spot that many of the focal points have a little dash of advancing color on them to help draw your eye towards them. A mark for color perspective could go under perspective or for color. Okay, some tips on viewpoint then. I don't know if you knew this was Paris. The clue was in the title where it says Louvre, which is the big museum. The high viewpoint is helping Pissarro to capture Paris at his best. He shows a lot of Paris. You've got the platform, the river, the big buildings, the bridge. This creates an amazing mood and atmosphere. So the chosen viewpoint is capturing how beautiful, how magnificent, how impressive Paris is. Or for another mark, you could try and say that the, the viewpoint is helping you to really see the season and how Paris looks in autumn. Or the viewpoint is really helping you get a sense of what it's like on a morning in Paris and how beautiful the, the light is on the buildings and in the trees and in the water.
Okay, folks, um, I hope that is helpful. Um, and